Thank you Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. We all love juicy burgers. Oh yeah. I mean, take a look at this. This is comfort food at its best. And for today's video, this one was born out of necessity, which in some ways saved our nation from the Great Depression. This is making the burger that changed history, a true national treasure, aka the Oklahoma Onion Burger. So let's do it. <laughs> Between 1929 and 1939, right after the stock market crash, there was a lot of uncertainties and hunger in the United States. Meat was expensive, so to fill up the burger, they used onions. And for my take on this amazing burger, I'm gonna be using these. And at least to me, they have a lot more flavor than white sweet onions, so I definitely recommend them. Now the first thing we need to do is to get these onions as thin as possible. And obviously our first thought is to grab a knife and go to town. But it really does not matter how much you try, there's no way that you can be as precise as a mandolin. So I highly recommend one. But at the same time, we all know that this tool can be dangerous. The last thing we need is to get hurt. So here's my biggest tip whenever you're using one. Definitely use a guard for it. As always, if you are interested in the ones I use, always find it on the description down below. Having a guard like this ensures that nothing will happen to your fingers. Trust me, I'm telling you that from experience. The mandolin is not only wonderful to keep your fingers safe, but it also makes the job a lot faster and it also keeps every single one the same size. That is important so that we get wonderful results. But once I was done cutting all of my onions, this is what I was left with. As you can see, they are so thin it's even hard to distinguish what they are. I'm telling you, get them as thin as you can because you will have an amazing burger. The next important ingredient is the meat. Remember, this is a cheap burger, but at the same time, it does not need to be boring. So I'm using ground beef, which is 80-20. As you know, that means 80% meat and 20% fat. To me, that is the perfect ratio for any burger. Before going outside and grilling them, I like to go ahead and make some balls out of it. This will speed up the process and it will make the smashing really easy. Because this burger is all about good technique. And I'm pretty sure that once you make some of them, man, you're gonna make them all the time. Now we gotta remember that this burger was made when there was not a lot of money to go around. So you don't have to make humongous balls. I was aiming for 3 ounces. Now the next ingredient is actually optional. But I'm pretty sure during the Great Depression there was not a lot of cheese like this. And we're talking about the good old American cheese. Nothing melts as good as this. And for a burger, it is perfect. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Now for the bread, they normally use potato buns. But hey, my favorite are these and if you have not seen my recipe on how to make them, you should. They are not only easy to make, but they are delicious. I like to call them Guga's buns. The last ingredients that they usually put on these burgers are pickles. And you better believe I'm gonna add some. Sauce is also optional. Usually they just throw in mustard. But I wanna see how wonderful it tastes and I'm gonna be using no sauce at all. But now that we have all of these ingredients ready, all there's left to do is to go ahead and make this amazing burger. The first thing to do is to smash the patties. Once that's done, you lay down a good amount of onions right on top. Then you flip at once and finish up the burger. But I know that sounds like a lot of talking and I agree with you. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to make this amazing burger. So let's do it. Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Make sure you use the links down below to download Raid to your mobile device or PC. Raid is a really tough game. It's got 10 different dungeons, each with a super tough boss that requires a specific strategy to beat. If you care about story, it has an awesome fully voiced campaign. Raid also has an incredible 460 champions. With over 25 million players, Raid is the hottest mobile game around and it's only getting bigger. And this month, Raid is doing their biggest update ever. The Doom Tower is here. A giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenges 
rooms and 12 amazing bosses to take on. They're also releasing 14 awesome new champions, along with a whole bunch of holiday events and tournaments. And here are my quick tips for you today. The three best places to farm and level up your characters. If you are just beginning, complete the campaign, specifically level 12, three on Brutal. That's gonna give you the most XP. If you have unlocked it already, farming the Dragon 13 will get you about the same XP, but better gear. And lastly, Spider 19. If you beat Spider 19, this will give you the most silver and the better selling items in the game. If you wanna get a huge head start with Raid, all you have to do is hit the link on the description down below. And if you are a new player, you're gonna get one XP booster, some energy refill, an ancient shard, 50 gems, and a free void champion, Bulwark. He's an absolutely awesome clan boss. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Once again, thank you Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. I hope to see you guys there, but now let's get right back to the video. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful onion burgers, Mama. I see a lot of onion there. Yes, a lot of onions. You know, a, a long time ago during the depression, they didn't have a lot of meat. So okay. to make it nice and full, they fill it up with onions. That's okay. what they did. That makes sense. There's nothing wrong with onions, everybody. Not at all. Me, Mama, we love onions. Angel, on the other hand, hate them with passion. Wow. <laughs> Angel doesn't like a lot of things. Yes, and if there's anything green in there, forget about it too. He cannot have that either. <laughs> I'm excited for this, everybody. I, with the original? Original. I tried everything I could not to try this burger. Right. As you guys can see here, it is extremely juicy, everybody. And I think that's the secret of this burger. A nice, messy burger is a better burger. It's always good. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm -hmm. oh. Wow. Sweet. Mm. Go ahead, Mama. Go ahead. I haven't even finished tasting it already, and I'm already like, wow. <laughs> the sweetness of the onion is incredible. Here's the thing. What happened is a lot of the onions are either a little bit charred, a little bit caramelized. Some of them are barely cooked. It's like a mix of all the onions together. So it gives you a bunch of different textures at the same time. Together on top of the awesome awesome beef <laughs> i see my mouth took a few bites before he wants to even explain it the onions is absolutely incredible wow. it's like caramelized onions with the burnt onions what well, you already know i'm not usually a pickle fan but i really really like the pickle here it goes well because it, it balances it out yeah you know it balances what i mean out. It perfect complement to this there's a lot of fat in here but it's 80 20 beef you know what i mean mm. it's not like lean beef or anything like that let's not be any because we have to try the other one yes let's go for the oh. next one mama before we actually start getting full over here Look at now this. The second one, one Momo is almost over already. <laughs> All right, let's go for this one right here. Now, I'll tell you one thing. Wow. Wow. I hope this is coming through the camera nicely, everybody. I really hope you can see it. I don't know if I got a nice shot of the midsection or not. I was too excited just to cook this thing. <laughs> Okay, nice, greasy. I mean, take a look at this grease. Mine is already split in half. Yours is not. Mine mama. is not, but this thing is heavy. <laughs> this thing okay. is like. Okay, Mama. I say enough talking. That's a Let, big boy. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Oh. Cheese makes everything oh. better. Even though he's lactose intolerant, but he likes cheese, everybody. Oh, oh my God. It is so much better with the cheese. The original, they didn't have cheese? The original didn't have anything, my mouth. They only had a little bit of patty and a lot of onions. <laughs> do it with the cheese, guys. If you don't do it with the cheese, you don't know what you're missing. Yeah. The cheese just brings it all <sighs> together. You know what I mean? It mm. just combines everything. It makes it more gooey, more texture, more flavorful, more everything. The cheese is definitely worth putting in. I'll tell you that right now. American cheese, not provolone. Don't go fancy and crazy. Some mustard cheese. No, 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 no. Craft no, no. singles cheese. Yes, the cheapest one that you can find. They have the special version where they come no, without no, no, the wrapper. No, no, not the fancy. No, no, no. Grab the one with the wrapper, everybody. Go cheap and you're gonna be happy. Store I, brand if you can. Yeah, <laughs> you will be happy. The cheese one is a flavor bomb. Uh, but I have to come back to the original one. Right, you don't want to take three peels, just one peel? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm already... That bomb is already exploding on my stomach, okay? <laughs> this is definitely amazing, everybody. Definitely give it a try. You will not regret it. There's absolutely nothing that can make this better. Don't put any ketchup, mayo, or nothing. It doesn't need it. It doesn't... No. Where happened, Momo? The original is already on your belly. <laughs> 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Angel, you did miss out, bro. You don't like onions. Out, man. Huh? Here, I'll save this one for you. Yeah, okay? I don't know about that. I might take the bite of that one. See you guys <laughs> on the next one. Take care, everybody.